Andre Evans, a beloved daytime star recognized for her roles on One Life to Live and The Young and the Restless, has sadly passed away at the age of 66. The heartbreaking news was confirmed by her former manager, Don Carroll, who revealed that Evans lost her battle with cancer on Sunday. Nick Light, her current manager, expressed his grief and commended her incredible talent and warm demeanor throughout their seven-year collaboration. Evans became widely known for her portrayal of the troubled teenager Tina Lord on One Life to Live and later as Patty Williams on The Young and the Restless. Her exceptional performance as Tina earned her a Daytime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Ingenue in a Drama Series 1988. Evans was cherished for treating her close knit circle of friends as they were family. John Nettleton, renowned for his role as Sir Arnold Robinson in the political satire sitcom Yes Minister and its sequel Yes Prime Minister, has passed away at the age of 94. The series captivated audiences with its depiction of rivalries, scheming, and conspiracies reminiscent of shows like The Thick of It. Nettleton's character, Sir Arnold Robinson, was portrayed as a master manipulator and mentor to Sir Humphrey Appleby. Throughout the series, his character evolved from cabinet secretary to the president of the campaign for freedom of information. Coco Lee the Chinese-speaking world is in shock following the tragic death of pop singer Coco Lee, sparking discussions about mental health issues on China's social media platforms. Lee, who was 48 years old, had been in coma since attempting to take her own life over the weekend. Her older sister Carol and Nancy shared the heartbreaking news on Facebook and disclosed that she had been battling depression in recent years. Li, a household name in China, was admired for her vibrant energy and radiant smile on stage and in public. The news of her passing left many in disbelief, fans expressing their sorrow and reminiscing about her passion for singing, dancing, and spreading joy. Lawrence Terman The esteemed Oscar-nominated producer behind notable films such as The Graduate, The Great White Hope, Pretty Poison, American History X, and Judy Garland's final movie, has died at the age of 96. Terman passed away at the Motion Picture and Television Country House in Hospital in Woodland Hills. Initially an agent, he formed a successful 20-year partnership with producer David Foster in 1974. Their collaboration began with Stuart Rosenberg's The Drowning Pool, Starring Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward. Jeffrey Carlson Known for his groundbreaking role on the soap opera All My Children as a transgender character, has tragically passed away at the age of 48. The news of his death was initially reported by Time Out editor Adam Feldman on Twitter and later confirmed by Carlson's representative. Brian Davison, Jeffrey's sister Elizabeth Carlson Gingras, expressed her deep love for him and the impact he had on many people. She shared that she was at a loss for words but would forever cherish their laughter and the special bond they shared. Sue Johansson A renowned sex educator has passed away at the age of 93 in a long-term care home outside of Toronto. Johansson's popular program Sunday Night Sex Show garnered success in her native country and she eventually hosted a spin-off in the United States. She played a crucial role in filling gaps in sex education for her North American audience. As a registered nurse, she opened one of Toronto's first birth control clinics in 1970, where she discovered her passion for teaching sex education. In 1984, she started a weekly call in show on Toronto Rock Station Q107, providing candid advice and normalizing discussions about sex. Manny Koto 
the talented Cuban-born writer and producer has passed away at the age of 62. Cotto received an Emmy for his work on 24 and contributed to four seasons of American Horror Story and two seasons of American Horror Stories. After a year-long battle with pancreatic cancer, he peacefully passed away at his home in Pasadena. Cotto's passion for Star Trek and filming led to a successful 40-year career in the industry. He also made significant contribution to Star Trek, Enterprise, and Dexter, leaving a lasting impact on those beloved franchises.